Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on an RV outdoors. Today we are back at my favorite little creek right in the middle of the day. We've got some crystal clear water conditions. That sun's up high and we're here to do another bait review for you guys. And in today's video, we are breaking out the first of many Berkeley products we will be showcasing on the channel. And in today's video, we have got those Berkeley Atomic Teasers. Got that three count and that awesome pink color one thirty-second ounce jig heads in there and these are simple little tube jigs with a small little power worm attached to the back there somewhat acting as a trailer for these they're an awesome little bait made by berkeley in the power bait lineup and this is by far one of my favorite trout fishers on the market today they absolutely slay big and small fish will hit this and it's an absolute staple for the trout fishing industry and in today's video we're going to be rigging up those power bait atomic teasers on our Finnick Eagle seven foot two piece rod here with some six pound fluorocarbon line spooled up onto that Fluger President. We've already got a pink atomic teaser tied up here using an improved clinch knot. Now these atomic teasers come in all sorts of colors, but I've never tried the pink color. So that's what we're gonna be using in today's video. But if you would like a more in-depth video with all kinds of different colors, I'll leave one linked down there in the comment section that I made a few years ago back in the winter at a trophy trout stream. And they were the hot ticket for that day it's a very enjoyable video to watch but let's not waste any time everyone let's hop in here and let's see what today has to offer all right everyone let's pop out our little atomic teaser here flip out cast number one our goal for today is to catch six fish on our atomic teaser that's our goal for every product review is a virginia state limit of six fish we're starting here in these shallow pockets i going to flip this thing around just simply let it fall to the bottom and then start jigging it back. A very slow presentation. Just bouncing that thing along the bottom. That hook stays upright, so you can really get that thing down low without very much risk of hang up. We're just gonna bounce it around. All these little rocks and pockets that we find, we're gonna flip that atomic teaser in, bounce it around, there we go. Fish on right there. That did not take long at all, everyone. There we go beautiful little fish right there got that atomic teaser right where you want to see it simple pop loose there using our pliers there we go everyone beautiful little rainbow trout let's let that little booger slide right on back out of the net in the creek happy and healthy there we go fish on right there oh he popped off maybe that fish will have a buddy in there Yep. Oh, another quick release. Oh, and another miss. Wow. That is not, not ideal. And one of the biggest problems with the atomic teaser is the hookup ratio. As you guys have seen there, we've missed a couple fish already flipping it around. And there's really nothing you can do about that. I'd definitely recommend setting that hook hard and fast. You really want to get some penetration in that fish's mouth if possible and keep that tension tight. This is a bulky bait and it only exposes a small amount of that hook. So if you release any tension at all or if that fish gets the better of you, it's a good chance you will lose it. But with the proper hook set and the right amount of tension on that retrieve, you should be just fine. That looks like that's all we're going to get out of this little pocket. So we'll go ahead and take our atomic teaser. We'll keep wading upstream and just see what all we can find. Put that old teaser fall on this little swift run. You can actually see it down there. That bright pink color sticks out like a sore thumb, everyone. Just hop him on along. See if there's anybody in here. It won't take but a few casts. That atomic teaser is an ideal lure for calling fish out. There's no need to make multiple casts. Oh, just like that. No need to make multiple casts. Odds are, if the fish is in there, it's going to come over and whack it. Just like that fish did right there. There we go, fish on. Good size fish too, everyone, wow. Really nice size fish. That is one big plus, that atomic teaser. It attracts those larger fish. Here we've got about a 14 inch rainbow trout. Good sized fish. Was able to set the hook good and hard on this one. And got him into the net. There we go. 
Kick and grab that atomic teaser and pop it loose. Beautiful fish number two, everyone. Heck yeah, just let him go. Take off, buddy. There he goes. Back in there, happy and healthy, everyone. Heck yeah. There we go. Another fish on right there, everyone. Another good one, too. Wow. Calling out those good quality fish today. That old Berkeley Atomic Teaser. There we go. Another good size fish right there. Oh, looks like he's kicked that teaser in the net. That's what we like to see. Check that one out, everyone. Another good quality fish out of here. That is the beauty of that Atomic Teaser. Those bigger fish do really tend to like it. There we go. Halfway through today's challenge. Only fished about 60 yards of water. To check on that Atomic Teaser, there is another major con to a lot of the Berkeley lures that are pre-rigged is those soft hooks. As you can see, just unhooking that fish, we have completely bent that hook out. So this teaser will have to be replaced. There we go. Thought it would be an interesting little experiment to toss in the old creek bug. After making several follow-up casts after we landed our first two on that atomic teaser, and well, we didn't even get a nibble. And as you can see, the size of this fish right here is very, very much smaller. But we we're able to come right back through with that simple little creek bug and clean up a couple more. That's our second bite and two casts. So it's pretty safe to say that that bigger, bulky atomic teaser isn't always ideal when you're around those smaller stalkers. But it acted perfectly as a search bait. It let us know that this pool had plenty of fish in it. Made a couple follow-up casts. We managed to get one out of there, everyone. Heck yeah. brown feeding up right here he's hitting something as it comes by gosh just feeding around everywhere Let's see if we can bounce that atomic teaser in front of him here gosh he doesn't really much like the look of it coming up and feeding on what appears to be blades of grass of all things right here in front of us. Oh, that's a massive brook trout, everyone. Thought that was a big brown. It's a massive brookie. All right, if we play our cards right like we know to do, we should be able to throw in our old Black Creek bug. This fish wants nothing to do with that atomic teaser whatsoever. But we'll hop into our pocket here, grab out that old trusty black creek bug, and odds are we'll be able to catch this monster fish. This is a big old massive brook trout. Absolutely gorgeous fish too. Pays no attention whatsoever to that atomic teaser. But odds are we can get it to bite the old creek bug as we know. Those big brooks have been all over that Black Creek bug here recently. Got him. Got him on right there, everyone. Wow, that took some work in. We managed to get him to take it. The fish did not want that atomic teaser whatsoever. Took in that old black creek bug. Had to get into position and bounce in front of his nose. But we got that big old brookie to take it. 
Heck yeah, everyone. I mean, a monster of a brook trout, too. Wow. Come here, big girl. There we go, everyone. I mean, a whopper. Kick that hook in the net just beautifully. Wow, everyone. Fishing that atomic teaser through there. Seen that big old girl come up, rising all over everything. Looks like he was eating leaves off the surface. Flip that old creek bug in there, bounce it in front of its nose, and bam. Another citation size brook trout for the year. On those creek bugs, everyone. Heck yeah. All right, everyone. So far, multiple hits. On that Berkeley Atomic Teaser, only three fish in the net. We did get lucky, landed one little rainbow on our Black Creek Bug and one absolutely massive brook trout. But we have fished to the end of our little fishable section here. So we're gonna go on ahead, hop out of the creek and walk up to a different section and just see if we can catch three more to complete our day's challenge. But so far, it has been an action-packed day. So let's go ahead and keep it moving. See if we can keep this party going. All right, everyone. Went on ahead and slid up here to the old bridge hole. This little section right here tends to hold those trout pretty good. So we're gonna go on ahead and pop our atomic teaser in here. In hopes of catching three more fish to complete today's challenge. Let's go on ahead and cross our fingers here and just see what happens. There we go, fish on. Fish on right there. Ooh, pulling drag. Fighting super hard, wow. Looks like another good quality rainbow trout, everyone. That's exactly what it is. Nice fish. That'll be our third nice quality rainbow of the day on that atomic teaser. Calm down, buddy. We're going to set you free. Looks like he's got it under the pin. Right in the roof of the mouth there, everyone. Let's see if we can grab that old hook. Quick pop loose. There we go. Another beautiful fish, everyone. Heck yeah. Let's let that big old beauty slide right on out of here. Happy and healthy. Heck yeah. All right, check on that atomic teaser. After one fish, it's already got some residual damage there, but still fishable. So we'll drop him back in there again. And so far today, three really good quality rainbows all on that atomic teaser. It's pretty good as far as the bigger size fish go. Another one. There we go. Wow, another good quality rainbow, everyone. There we go, right on into the net with another. Another quality fish right there. Wow, that is exactly what we like to see. The Atomic Teaser is doing what it does best. Calling out those better quality fish. Wow, another gorgeous one. We're now just one away from completing our daily challenge. There we go, let that one slide back in there. We'll see if we can't call ourselves out one more. I'm just simply flipping that teaser underneath this brush right here, bouncing it back, and they have to have it. Heck yeah. Had him right there. Gosh, another swing and a miss. That's well over a limit of fish that we've swung on and missed today. Unfortunately, that's just the name of the game with that atomic teaser. Oftentimes, if you don't set that hook just right, that fish is not going to stay pegged. That's exactly what happened there. That little brook trout came up and smacked it. We gave him the old swing and he spit the hook right back at us, everyone. Mm -mm -mm. Got him. There we go. Oh, yet again, everyone. Another fish to spit the old atomic teaser. That hookup ratio has been two to one as far as pop-offs go. 
I don't know what to say about it other than we are trying our absolute best, but we've had our sixth fish time and time again, and unfortunately, they just keep on spitting that hook back at us, everyone. Nothing else we can do besides continue to try. Everyone, we're not even through our first lemon of fish, and I already feel like our second atomic teaser of today has got to the point now where every single fish that bites is spitting it out. We did manage to land two decent sized rainbows on it, but it would appear that it's time to replace it as well. For whatever reason, the fish just will not stay pegged, so we're gonna go on ahead and hop into our pack and grab out our very last atomic teaser of today. And it's a kind of a shame that you would go through three teasers that fast and only catch five fish on them, but they are still catching fish. They're still getting us bites. So you can't really complain about that. Just unfortunately, those hooks are not really ideal for getting those fish pegged and keeping them on. So we're gonna go on ahead and hop onto our third atomic teaser of the day here. Just for a sense of security to know that it's a fresh lure and that our chances of getting them to stay on is a little bit better. There we go. There we go, fresh teaser, fish on. Now we've just gotta keep this little beauty peg. Looks like another good quality rainbow trout. Let's see if we can slide that little booger right on into the net. There we go, everyone. Challenge completed. Atomic teaser, getting it done. We just popped on that fresh one. And that's what it took to get this one to stay for us. There we go, everybody. Six fish down. All on that atomic teaser, a little small rainbow and a monster brook trout in between on those NRV Bates Creek bugs. What more can you ask for? Well, everyone, that's pretty much going to do it for today's little atomic teaser challenge. I had a ton of fun out here on my favorite little creek using those atomic teasers, fishing a ton of water and getting those active fish to feed. We were lucky enough to catch several really nice size rainbow trout all on those power bait atomic teasers but if you would like to get your hands on this pack of atomic teasers all you've got to do is be sure you are subscribed and head down there into the comments and drop me a comment any comment will be your entry for a chance to win a pack of these berkeley power bait atomic teasers in this awesome pink color but that's pretty much going to do it for the video guys if you enjoyed it make sure you smash that like button and make sure you drop that comment for your chance to win but get out there if you can everyone and do yourself some fishing and have some fun most importantly be safe and tight lines if you want to get your hands on some of those creek bugs look at that very first link in the description it'll take you straight to my website you definitely need some of those in your tackle box